fail. Oh, hope you're doing well. Yes, I want to address those people that have been caught off of those people that definitely you've been caught off guard and taken to deportation under what you call the runaway cases. Yes, by the way, did you know how to calculate your ban when you've been caught by CID or you've been taken under deportation for what we call a runaway case? Yes, most of you have not been very close or you've not paid a lot of attention regarding to this situation. But let me try to show you, let me try to tell you how definitely you need to calculate and how definitely you should know how long you are supposed to stay outside in case you had a ban regarding to what you call a runaway case. Yes, the moment, the moment you have a runaway case filed against you by your employer. First of all, let me first try to let you know. Some of you have not taken what you call a keen interest to look at what we call your QIDs. Your QIDs must be, might bear two years. Some QIDs might bear three years. That is your contract. And that is the contract you're supposed to serve with that employer. So most of the times when this employer, if you run away from his ownership, you go outside and he files a case against you. The police or the CID will look for you. They definitely have to look for you because he has filed a case against you. And the baddest or what you call the biggest blunder that most of you make is that you switch off the mobile. You cannot even receive a message. You cannot even receive a notification. So you, you, you begin putting everything inside fire. In fact, inside fire on you. You cannot receive the message. So what happens? is that it will accumulate. You are not responding to any message to the ministry or to what you call the CID. They will say, okay, fine, this person is in hiding. But you will not exit. You will not exit out of the country. So probably what it means is that once you are being caught and taken to deportation because of what you call a runaway case, the best thing for you to calculate your total ban or once you get out of the bridge, start counting your ban from the start of the date that you went out of the immigration. So that one is going to serve, the period outside is going to serve the duration of your contract. If your contract was two years and you go out on 1st September of 2024, start counting from that date the two years from outside. That is what you call a runaway case and a ban that is being lifted on you. So meaning after two years, you can be able to reapply a new visa and return into the country. However, I keep on advising that once your ban for two years is done from outside whatever country you may be, then give it an allowance of 15 days, then do what you call the visa application process with a new visa to return. Or the person should do what you call a new visa application for you to return into the country. But however, something that definitely you should understand in the old situation, let this person applying for you the visa give you the status or the remarks that are being written on that visa application. Some of you, you found yourself that on the visa application, you have remarks that read, you've not com completed a stipulated period of time outside the country. That means you, your ban is not yet lifted. You still have to complete more days to finish up, then it will be lifted. In the system, it will keep on running. It will keep on running until the last date that was put, then it will be lifted. Yes, some of you, you've had remarks like that there is what you call entry prevention and you've not taken care of. That's why most of the time when the agent is applying for you the visa, ask that agent to give you the remarks.